Hey everyone, hope all is good. Another quick install today, the Archetype Racing BYOD rail. Welcome to the never ending weekend. So for those of you who know, uh, know well probably, and those of you who don't, uh, this will be new to you, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> it's a uh, BYOD, B BYOD. A lot of the people who are interested in Bronco know exactly what a BYOD rail is, but for those who don't, it's bring your own device. And it's a uh, cool functionality that uh, Ford added into their Broncos, thinking that people will want to take these cars on adventures and would want to record those adventures. Kind of a nifty idea for mounting devices like your phone and uh, cameras and whatnot. So packaged really nicely, but this was kind of expensive. I'm not going to lie, I, I, I kind of second guess uh, whether it was worth it because there are other options out there. Um, but saying that, this is the best looking one. Uh, milled out of aluminum. They have a few different designs. This is one of the less, more kind of understated design. The mounting hardware and the actual rail. Understated color as well because they didn't want it to stand out too much. Solid. Oh, this is the centerpiece. The end pieces marked left and right. One of the um, disadvantages of one of the other popular rails is that you had to screw into your dash, but they take care of that with a little bit of adhesive. I find that the adhesive always fails on these things, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to screw it down and show you what it looks like. This is the mounting point that Ford put in here. I just had this uh, temporarily to screw in my camera, but that's the mounting point, and they added a charger back here too. USB-C and USB. They include this one plastic washer spacer uh, in the hardware package, but... So here I pre-assembled the pieces. I haven't tightened it down just because I want to kind of put it in place before I really screw down these bolts. I also have very little luck with this like 3M type stuff on other products, so I Make sure I wipe everything down with alcohol, get a good secure adhesion. Once I get this all screwed down, I'll show you some of the accessories I bought for it. Overall, it looks really good. Uh, it looks very factory. I'm glad I went with the uh, smooth rail and not the Picatinny one, because this blends in really nicely with the um, factory dash. It is a nice, nicely built product. I guess you get what you pay for. So I bought a few of these from Ram, Ram mounts. Um, they just go into the rail here. You take out this little piece at the bottom, thread it through, and then lock it in place. Always oh, something, eh? Oh, it doesn't work. It's not... Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, here's a lesson learned. I thought I was being very careful on what I needed to buy. Did some research, but didn't even consider the, the thickness of the bolt. It doesn't fit in the rail. So I can't use these. I just have to reorder some stuff. But regardless, I bought ball mounts specifically so I can use these RAM uh, accessories. Long arm, short arm. And then on the end of that, I have this from a motorcycle I had a long time ago, which uh, would fit on here and hold your phone. Uh, but more recently, bought a, um, a quad lock with the ball mount assembly on the back. And this will be easy so that I can swap it between my motorcycle and the car. And then you can get accessories such as this, uh, which is for GoPros and whatnot. And then of course your ubiquitous uh, camera mount for shooting as well, out the windshield or back at you. Once I mount a few things up, I'll do another recording to show you what it looks like. Different hat, different day. It's been about a week. I did some research and uh, really found out I didn't know anything about Picatinny rails. So I went on the forums and did some research, asked a few questions and basically found some adapters other people are using from brands like Small Rig and some other things. Uh, I'll put some links down below if you want to purchase those items. I basically bit the bullet and decided to go with the Archetype Racing balls uh, that they sell. They're also made of aluminum. They're kind of uh, not expensive but uh, more pricier than the stuff from from RAM mounts. Uh, by design or not, well obviously by design, by design they created their balls 
with an adapter so it's the only thing that will fit into the rail a conventional 1 8 inch bolt will not fit in the rail space so after you twist it off you got this kind of nut that holds it in place and then you got a washer and a cap and then um, this smaller threaded nut um, that's slightly smaller than a conventional typical nut that you would use for something like this that ram mount uses this this won't fit in but, but this will i'll put everything together and i'll show you some of the accessories that i bought so i have everything bolted down and screwed tight um, i have the gopro there and the quad lock for my phone it all works pretty well um, it'll be fun to use this the gopro i guess that ford really focused in on what people were going to do with their Broncos and so when you go off-roading you can record your adventures uh, and uh, I've had the rail for a couple of weeks now and um, I didn't even notice it I forgot I had this here it looks so stock uh, but overall I like the Archetype Racing BYOD rail it's well built it's quite expensive but uh, if you're in the market it's definitely an option until next time have a great weekend